Today we're going to be here in downtown Orlando, Florida. We're going to be revisiting the house that was home to Ernest P. Whirl because they've done quite a number of things to this historic house. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Today we're going to be revisiting Ernest P. Worrell's house from the 1988 touch-tone classic film, Ernest Saves Christmas. In my opinion, it's one of the best Christmas films out there and one of the best Ernest films out there. We're going to see what has changed with the house, match up some photos, and kind of talk about a little bit of the history of this house. You're going to get to tag along with me now. Let's take a closer look. Now, March 3rd, 2021, there was a meeting about potentially, potentially bulldozing this house and building a two-story house. Obviously, it's almost a year later and they have not bulldozed this house, but they have done a number of things. They've uprooted the, the front yard here. They've got this all fenced off completely. You know, they don't want you walking right there in the front yard and they've got the same security tags and everything. But let's talk about some history of this house and then we'll talk about some Ernest history and match up some photographs. Now, long before Ernest Saves Christmas came out in 1988, this home was built in 1918. This is known as the Frame Vernacular Home and it was first occupied by Mr. J.M. Kearns in 1924. It's been through several owners since then. In March of 2021, they had a meeting about potentially bulldozing this house. And I don't think the owner at the time got their wish. I believe the historic society came in and maybe made an offer because they were gonna bulldoze it. I think it would have been done. So I think they're gonna renovate this and preserve it, which I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy if that happens. Looks like they've been uprooting the, the front yard here. It's in terrible shape. It's in really bad shape, especially compared to what it looked like in Ernest Saves Christmas. So this is what it looked like in Ernest Saves Christmas. You can see they set dressed this yard pretty well. A lot of blow molds. So the neighbor right over here, he was just walking his dog, came out, he lives right in this house here came out and told me they're gonna they're gonna demolish this house I was looking online to see if it was you know official he was talking about just termites and they wouldn't even let inspectors inside to look at it can't believe it the Ernest house is gonna go away man that bums me out finding that finding out that news and if it's gonna go away, I gotta, I gotta walk up here real quick and see. People have left these seashells here. I'm, I'm guessing for Ernest because at the beginning of the Ernest films, there were seashells. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. M Shell Producers Group. For those of you who watch the Ernest films, you know about the M Shell Producers Group logo, which were the shells. And I think that's what people did here. Left some shells in honor of, of Ernest. So now this is what it looked like in the film. You can see the house and all the tacky yard <laughs> accessories and I loved his little mailbox there. All the blow molds and it was awesome and this is what it looks like now changed quite a bit of things the trees are gone and and everything so Ernest's mailbox would have been somewhere right here hmm. then there's a scene with Ernest and Santa Claus inside this living room right here and you can see this wall 
and door. Right there, there was a Santa Claus face on it. This is looking out the front door. You can see the wood there and the door to the right of Ernest. That's right there. And then this scene of Ernest backing out his truck with Santa, going to find Joe, happened right here. They backed out the truck right there and, and took off down the street. And then right here is where Harmony walked up to the boat and got Santa's sack right there. I'm really hoping this is not correct. I'm really hoping that they're not going to demolish this. It's kind of hearsay right now. Everybody's saying different things. I just hope it it stays. I hope it gets fixed up. But I hope it gets to stay because this is major Central Florida filming location history right here. Major Ernest history right here. Jim Varney history who is no longer with us, who passed away. But I mean, you can see it, it needs some major, major help. The roof line here. I've always been curious as if they filmed inside this house and I'm positive they filmed inside this house because there's that one scene of Ernest and, and Santa standing right in front of that door that I showed you guys and it matches up. And one year when I came out here and did my filming locations, I talked to the owner and he told me he lived here when they filmed. And they came up, told him what they were gonna do. They sent all the letters and everything of what they were gonna film and, and the schedule and everything. And he said they set up all kinds of dolly tracks and they set up all kinds of stuff out here in the street. They filmed inside. His family kind of watched everything happen. And that was it. He let me film everything I wanted to do here but he did say they filmed inside. So according to him, they did. Man, it's a bummer, right? So this is where Ernest had his mailbox set up. And you can see there were several trees back here at the time. And you can see the school down the street and the house to the right that's shown has gone over some major changes. This is it. Right here. That's the house to the right, it's gone through some changes, and then it panned just like this. And there was that famous shot. Well, if this is the last time I see this house, goodbye. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. And if it's not, I hope you get taken care of. It's silly, you know, these, these filming locations are just buildings, they're just houses, they're, they're people's houses, you know, they're just things. And they use them to put, you know, on video, kind of like what I'm doing right now, you know. And for some reason, certain filming locations, certain places like the Ernest House, to me, it's a big part of my childhood. It's a big part of the reason why I do YouTube. It's a big part of what made me, me. And I didn't mean to get so emotional this morning <laughs> watching that house just sit there like that and thinking about all the times I used to come out here and, and take pictures and just look at it and watch the movie. And, you know, that was kind of in my backyard. And to think that it's going to be gone just, I don't know, kind of bummed me out today in a way, but that's progress. I've learned getting older that you can't change progress. You can't change change. Change is inevitable, but I hope that house, uh, I hope it gets fixed up. I hope it doesn't get demolished, but if it does, I'm glad I got to document this today and it's, it's on the internet now forever 
for those who are fans of Ernest or Ernest Saves Christmas or filming locations in general or Orlando history. That's now documented and done. Took care of business today, as I say. And there's several houses in this area that were used in, in other films, other locations and, and everything. This place was a, a thriving filming location area in the late 80s and early 90s. Well, you guys, we came, we saw, we took care of business here today. Taking a closer look at the Ernest Saves Christmas house. It's kind of a bummer. But we did it. And that's that's all I can do today. So I think it's 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 time to say goodbye. <laughs> we took care of business. It's time to say goodbye. No no need to stand there and film any longer. It kind of makes me sad standing there honestly and filming that and seeing the way it is. But I will see you guys on the next adventure. If you guys would like, check out my filming locations I did of Ernest Saves Christmas and also check out Adam from the Daily Woos. Filming locations that he did of Ernest Saves Christmas, I think we both did a pretty good job. Between the both of our videos, I think we covered pretty much everything there is to see from that film. But I will see you guys on the next adventure. Stay weird. Know what I mean, Vern? Goodbye.